You might think that all indigenous people have status, but this is not the case. Many indigenous women were denied status due to the Indian Act. For context, the Indian Act was created as a part of federal law, and through the Indian Act, the federal gov government administers Indian status, local First Nations governments, and the management of reserve land and communal monies. It was created in 1876 and was still active until 1951. It's also important to note that the Indian Act does not include Métis or Inuit people. Section 121B, which has now been removed, stated that and the status of any women who married a non-Indian, including American Indians and non-status Aboriginal men in Canada, would lose their status. Later on, the children of any women who were denied status would also lose theirs. However, a non-status Indian man could marry a non-status woman and retain his status. In fact, the woman in that relationship would gain status rights, as would their children. This cycle continued on for generations and generations, and now lots of Indigenous people still don't hold the status. A 2020 annual report from the Government of Canada says that 17% of Indigenous peoples in BC alone st still don't have status. Thankfully now, stater, status is no longer carried through marriage and women and their children can keep their rightful status if they would like to.